Revenge of the Pink Power Supply. Uh, this is a power supply I've featured a couple of times uh, so far, and I decided to do a complete test using the, the new Matek uh, power USB power analyzer that measures how much uh, power goes in in terms of milliamp powers. So I discharged it using this lovely matching pink light, which is a one watt LED but runs actually at about uh, half the, the current, about 150 milliamps, so it runs about half a watt. And I actually worked out that if this was um, a 2600 milliamp hour cell, then it would run for a certain length of time, and I left it for that length of time, and less than half the time into that time, it suddenly went out, and it's, that's a bad sign already. That kind of shows that it's not maybe got the capacity they're advertising. Mind you, looking at the box, it's apparently part of the perfume series, perfume, uh, the quality assurance number one label is uh, just printed on, and the instructions are really intriguing. Safety information, safety design, Pratect mobile and Ilfi light, absorption new charging technology, spread extend the usage of battery, warning, do not follow these instructions may cause a fire, electric shock, damage, or other damage. Do not throw, touch, not disassembled, or pierce A5. Do not use A5 exposure in fire, heat, or suggested the use of a regular brand power water. What? Mobile power bank, designed in Hong Kong, made in China. No. Mobile power bank, designed in Hong Kong, ripped off in China. But anyway, I put the... The, I discharged the unit completely and I put it on the tester and it clocked up 1093 milliamp hour. Not 2600, 1093. And it made me wonder is the battery inside one of those ones that is actually just a, um, a shell but it's got a really tiny cell in the middle and packers? And you can't really tell by weight. Uh, I've got some other cells here. Other cells which I don't know the capacity of, but here's a set of scales. This one weighs 40, 47 grams. This one weighs 45 grams. The suspect one weighs 39 grams. Hmm, not a huge difference, but still significant enough. There is a video floating about on eBay of a guy who's been... Uh, with really low capacity cells and he um, he opens one of them up and when he opens it up and takes the end cap off he pours out loads and loads of powder comes out white powder he calls it flour I'd, I don't know if it's flour or just general packer like plaster or something like that but when it's all poured out this tiny little cell comes out the middle so I don't know if it's something like that or if it's just yeah just a a cheap sell. But there you go. I'm not overly bothered because it was just a cheap uh, four pound um, charger and I have to say it works fine and certainly the fact you can change the cell means it could be upgraded if I could find a source of genuine 2,600 milliamp hour cells but that's the tricky bit. How do you know what you're getting without actually buying one and testing it? But there you go. Uh, Things are not always what they seem on eBay, but then that's not exactly a news story, is it?